Hi, welcome to the other 167. For our meditation today, I have taken a portion from the New Testament of the Bible, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 25 onwards. Jesus taught in parables. Parables are small stories with profound meaning in it. An expert in law comes and asks Jesus a question. Master, what should I do to inherit eternal life? And then Jesus drew his attention to the commandments of God. What is written in the law? How do you read it? Then the man replied, Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul and with all your strength. and love your neighbor as yourself and jesus commended him for answering rightly he summarized the old testament into two these sentences you have answered correctly do this and you will live and then the expert in the law to justify himself he asked jesus another question who is my neighbor that is when jesus went on to say a parable it is like this a man who was going from jerusalem to jericho he was attacked by robbers beaten and stripped and left half dead a priest happened to pass that way and he passed by when he saw the man pass by on the other side so to a levite He came that way saw the man and passed by on the other side then comes a samaritan he saw the man half dead in difficult situation came near him bandaged his wounds poured oil and wine on his wounds put him on his donkey and took him to an inn to take care of him The next day when the samaritan leaves that place he tells the innkeeper take this two denarii and take care of him when i return i will reimburse to you any extra expenses you had incurred for him and then jesus asked a question to the lawyer expert in law it is like this which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers so the answer is very clear the man replied the one who had mercy on him and then jesus said go and do likewise jesus did not only told a parable but he also brought in application of what he was teaching there are three points i wanted to bring out from this parable one the good samaritan responded to the need of the man in distress he came near to the man and his heart was moved only when we come near to the problems of others do we realize how they need help and we would involve we cannot be fence sitters or people in the gallery we need to respond to the need the, the samaritan not only bandaged his wounds but put him on his donkey and took him to the inn the second point is that the samaritan's action were sacrificial he had a heart of sacrifice he expended himself he gave two denarii to the innkeeper and said take this and i will reimburse any extra expenses you incurred for the, on this man so when we respond to the situations in distress we need to be sacrificial like the good samaritan point number 3 we need to be good neighbors we live in a hurting world people are lonely people are hurting people are need a word of comfort a word of encouragement will wipe their tears will we have a listening ears to their problems will we differ, will we rise to the occasion and help them out will be their friends and good neighbors we need to ask ourselves 
or are we away and we like these two priest and levite who pass by on the other side let's ask these questions ourselves so i conclude we need to be responding to the situations in of need of others and we should our action should be sacrificial like the good samaritan three let's be good neighbors like the good samaritan who was good neighbor to the man who was hopped may god bless us with these words thank you